hope you've had a great Christmas, an opportunity to relax, be refreshed, and uh, even with the limitations of our present situation, we're able to celebrate the coming of the King, the birth of Christ. I guess you may even have come across that passage, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given and the government should be upon his shoulder and of the increase of his government there'd be no end and uh, his name should be called wonderful counselor prince of peace everlasting father those wonderful titles the king has come the one we've been waiting for has arrived and uh, the people who sat in darkness it says will see a great light people living in dark contexts light's going to dawn on them of course that's how it was on that day when the shepherds were in the fields shepherds who were nobody's really dregs of society just looking after a few sheep light suddenly dawned upon them and uh, the coming of light that light that lightens every man was coming into the world and of course of the increase of his government there'll be no end this wonderful promise that this government is going to keep on growing and it's interesting, it says in that very passage, it would be like the Battle of Midian. It says that in Isaiah 9, where it talks about this wonderful king who's coming. It'll be like the Battle of Midian. Of course, the Battle of Midian is the story of uh, Gideon and how, yeah, the people in the darkness of that valley suddenly saw a great light. Uh, 300 lamps were suddenly lit and a great victory was won. I, I really feel God wants me to speak to you for these next few times about that event the people were in terrible darkness in those days the book of judges so it's a book of gross darkness really terrible gross darkness in the end you get this recurring theme there was no king in those days every man did what was right in his own eyes that's the kind of recurring little phrase that keeps coming in the nation was in dire straits really it says the people who had known God had passed away, the generation that knew the Lord and the things he had done. In other words, the Joshua generation had passed away. And the judges is in a kind of valley between the great victories of Joshua and the wonderful exploits of David. God will always raise up his anointed servants. God will increase the government of Christ. There's no question about it. It's going to happen. God said when they turned back at Kadesh Barnea in the Old Testament, he said, look, as surely as I live, all the earth will be filled with the glory of God. God has set himself to accomplish this. He will fill the earth with his glory. The increase of the government of Christ will come. But there'll be dull patches. And the book of Judges was a dull patch. They were far from God. And the leaders of Israel, they didn't know the God that Joshua knew. It's so sad when the people of God are led by leaders who don't really know God and try to find some other way. I feel, sadly, we've been living in such a time where it's not evident that the church looks like it knows God at depth, but God had not finished with his people. And I want to look at the story of how God broke through. God gave a fresh anointing. The whole story starts with men began to cry to the Lord. That's where it starts, dear friends. As we begin this new year, let's cry to God. Let's say, Lord, you're going to increase your government. You're going to bring us out of this darkness. You're going to glorify Jesus. You're committed to it. Now let's pray. Let's call upon God. As we look at this story of what happened, the Battle of Midian, I want to pray that God will open our eyes, excite us, stir and motivate us to believe for some breakthrough. God bless you through another day.